What's up everybody, NFX here with another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about the FL Studio vocoder. Um, many uh, other vocoders of, from different manufacturers work similar to this, so um, even if you don't have FL Studio, um, maybe you can learn a few things about uh, the way a vocoder works that will help you in the future. The first thing I want to do is just prepare a couple of things. Uh, one is I want to actually put my vocoder in a channel somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my channel uh, number three and I'm going to give it a name of vocoder. And I'm going to actually drop an effect. Uh, it's a built-in FL Studio one called the FL, uh, actually the Fruity Vocoder. It's off the screen. You don't see it, but I'm picking, I'm selecting it from the menu. And uh, there's what it looks like. And I'm going to set it to uh, 64 bands. Now I can't tell you exactly how a vocoder works. All I know is that somehow it splits up the frequency and mixes it with something else and then it spits out um, a new sound. Okay. And normally the way it's, it's used is you take a, a voice, that's the voc part of vocoder, and uh, you use that as part of the mix and then you use another sound like a synthesized sound for example and uh, you mix them together and that's when you get uh, that robotic sound maybe you could think of it uh, like uh, uh, if you watch uh, you know space movies and you see a, a robot talking and it's it kinda comes out sounding like very robotic or maybe if you think of like the the Dr. Dre uh, song, uh, California Love, the part that's sung where it says California Love, that's got that same sound, that Roger Troutman uh, vocoder sound. Now, obviously, I don't sing that well, as you can tell, but I'm sure you've heard it if you're, uh, if you're uh, into hip-hop at all and, uh, and into popular music. But anyway, so the way a vocoder uh, operates is it takes two signals. It takes the voice and then something else. Now the voice part of it is called the modulator uh, or the mod in this case. If we look at the FL Studio vocoder here, the mix, it's got a mod and a CAR which is the carrier. And what we want is the mod to be the voice and the carrier to be some kind of a sound that's going to affect that voice. So first thing I'm going to do uh, with regards to the voice is I'm going to actually route my voice as I'm speaking to you now directly through FL Studios Mixer. I'm going to go to Insert One first and then I'll rename it and call it Vox just so it's clear what, what that channel is used for. And then over here in this In, I'm going to tell it to get my analog mix. Um, in my case, the analog mix is the uh, the line in and that's just what what my sound card refers to it as so your sound card might say something else and you might have to experiment to find it but now that I've set this you can see that my voice is coming in and displaying on the uh, on the VU meter here on the on the peak meter you can see my voice is causing it to go up and down um, and then what I want to do is on insert number two, that's going to be my my carrier, or in this case, yeah, I guess I'll just call it carrier. And uh, I haven't actually done anything with that yet. So what I need to do is go load something and route it to channel two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually drop in a 3x oscillator, which is right there and then I'm going to browse for a preset uh, actually I guess I'll have to browse for the preset in the uh, sample browser and let me just move the window over so uh, here's the sample browser and then there's a section called channel presets and I'm going to open that and then I'm going to load up 3x OSC 
and I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to find one called Rave Lead um, right here. I'll drag it over and drop it right there. Okay, now I'm going to move everything back. There we go. So now if I play this rave lead, this is what it sounds like. It's got a very harsh sound to it, but that's good because you need that kind of rich harmonics sound to make your uh, vocoding sound better. And you'll see how everything comes together in a moment. Okay, so let's go back to the, let's actually send this to channel 2, because this is our carrier. And there's my voice in channel 1. Let's make sure the carrier's going to channel 2, which it is. And then in channel 3, we have the vocoder. Now what we need to do is we need to feed channel 1 and channel 2 into the vocoder. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to actually... Uh, set it up so that instead of coming uh, from channel 1 into the master channel, it's going to go into the vocoder channel. So I'm going to highlight channel 1 in my mixer. Then I'm going to go over here, which is on the vocoder channel, and right-click and select Route to this track only. Now what happened is my voice is now going to the vocoder channel before it goes to the master channel. And you can see as I'm talking, the vocoder is interpreting my voice and showing you the bands uh, that my voice is occupying. Now I want to do the same thing for the, um, for the carrier. So I'm going to highlight the carrier channel, go to my vocoder here, and say route to this track only. And now when I play my carrier, if I go back to my vocoder for a moment, play my carrier, you can see here that as I play the carrier, it goes to the vocoder channel. Okay? Now, uh, now what you need to do is you need to tell the vocoder which is the modulator and which is the carrier. And the way FL Studio's vocoder works is it gets one from the left channel, the other from the right channel. And the way it's set up now is the modulator comes from the left, the carrier comes from the right. But if you, if you click here where my mouse is, it'll actually reverse those if you want. But I'm going to leave it the standard left and right. And the way I'm going to now feed this is I'm going to basically just pan my Vox and my carrier left and right. So now, uh, as I talk, you can see it's only occupying the left channel. And as I play my carrier, it's only occupying the right. But because they're both going into the vocoder, they're being mixed and then output as stereo. So, um, but the vocoder now can, can tell one from the other. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my carrier sound uh, down. Actually, I'm going to bring my, my uh, these two sliders for modulator and carrier are the raw, unprocessed input sounds. And that's how much of the input sounds you want to come out in the mix. So if I move these down, my voice will get lower and lower and lower and lower, 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 lower. You can hear my my voice is cut cutting out because I'm taking the vo the uh, the volume down. So I need to have this up in order to speak to you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my voice and the carrier at the same time, like this. And you can hear that it mixes together. You can't really tell what I'm saying because maybe that carrier is too loud but I'm gonna bring this wet mix up and I'm gonna take down the carrier and in a second I'm gonna take down my voice 
but I'm going to play a carrier and speak at the same time, and you're going to hear what it sounds like. Testing one, two. Testing one, two, three. www.warbeats.com. Okay, so what I did is I basically played uh, this. And while I played that, I said www.warbeats.com. And I didn't really sing that. I didn't have to because the notes from what I was playing made it sound as though I was singing it. So let me do it again. And actually, I'm going to leave my voice and the carrier slightly in the mix so you can hear that a little more clearly. Maybe the carrier is still too loud. Let me take the carrier out. www.warbeats.com Now, if I don't play the carrier and my and my uh, vocal slider here is all the way down, you're not going to hear any sound. So right there I just said www, but you didn't hear it. Uh, but you may have seen the spikes go up. Let's, let me show you that again. I'm going to say www, and you'll watch the spikes come up, but you won't hear my voice. So now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to hold down a note on the carrier, and you'll hear it. W -W. And that's how a vocoder works. It basically mixes in uh, the the carrier and the modulator together, and then it outputs them together and gives it that unique uh, robotic sound. Now, what's cool about that is you don't have to be able to sing. All you need to do is be able to, like, pretty much speak in time and uh, maybe play a melody. Uh, and you don't ha even have to do them at the same time. I'm showing you live because it's easier for me to demonstrate it, but you can pre record a vocal part and then. Uh, pre-record a part that you play and mix them together using the vocoder and come up with something that sounds uh, kind of impressive. Um, one thing that's important, and let me just take this down for a minute, one thing that's very important is that uh, you realize that the sound that you use is important for the, the output of the vocoder. In this case, you heard I was using this very unique, you know, hard sound. But what if I put something smoother in there? Like, for example, I'm going to put uh, fat string sound in there. So that sounds different. Sounds like this. Okay, now let's let's hear what that sounds like when I put everything uh, straight through the vocoder. So you can hear that that had a kind of a smoother, mellower sound to it than the rave lead. And you can basically just experiment with, uh, with I don't know, just any sound. Uh, here's one called Trance Lead. And let's hear what this one sounds like. www.warbeats.com This is a test. This is a test. Now again, I wasn't singing that. I was just talking that. Um, actually, maybe it'd be useful if I bring up the keyboard so you can see what I'm saying er, and what I'm playing. So I might say W. Uh, if you look down here at the keyboard, you're going to see what I'm playing and what I'm saying. So I'm going to I'm going to say W W W Warbeats.com. Then I'm going to say this is a test. This is a test, and you see. I'm playing some chords there. So, 
Let's take a listen. www.morebeats.com This is a test. This is a test. And again, I wasn't singing that. I was just speaking it uh, in time. And then I was letting the notes that I was playing kind of make it sound as though I were singing it. So you can get really creative. In, and if you're, if you're uh, pretty good at maybe writing a melody or a little riff or something, uh, you might be able to really use this to your advantage. Now you don't hear, uh, I don't think you're hearing the same feedback I'm hearing because uh, I'm recording this and monitoring it through my headphones and it sounds really weird. So I'm going to take that, uh, that line in back off so I can just talk to you normally uh, as I close out this tutorial. Um, I hope that uh, you learned a little bit more about a vocoder than what you knew. And just to recap, you have a modulating source, you have a carrier source. The modulating source is usually your voice. The carrier is usually some kind of rich sounding uh, noise. You know, it could be a chord, it could be notes, you could play a melody, you could do whatever you want, and your voice is going to take on the characteristics of that sound somewhat. And uh, that's how you use a vocoder. Now, I did, did everything live, but I want to repeat that you can actually record yourself talking or take some other source uh, and then use that along with a pre-recorded uh, or pre-played um, sequence for the carrier. Uh, and by the way, you don't have to always do this with voice. I've heard it used with drums to good effect and even some other instruments can be run through here and come up with some very interesting and unique sounds. So uh, use your imagination and, uh, you know, take it as far as you can. And in the meantime, this is NFX saying I will see you guys in the next tutorial.